of Reformed Andrea Congregation. This is a short reflection for Holy Week. Jesus says, I give you a new commandment, love one another. As I have loved you, so you are to love one another. Our Father in heaven, we take this time to pause with you today. You are our God, creator, redeemer, and renewer. You are the fountain of life, the giver of light and hope to the world. We praise you for coming in Jesus, the king on a donkey, riding humbly to the cross. We thank you and praise you for coming today through your Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth and gentleness, the spirit of life and power. In your tender compassion, we pray that you will be gracious to us. Look in mercy upon us and forgive the faults and sins of your people. And we bring our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Gospel accounts of Holy Week tell us of a week packed with events and confrontations and teaching. There are the questions from the chief priests and the scribes, discussions about law, tax, the Messiah, resurrection, signs of the end times. There are parables, the two sons, the tenants, the wedding banquet. We are told that Jesus laments over Jerusalem and that Judas decides to betray his master. Through all the conflict and questioning, there are followers and disciples. We might look for encouragement to the twelve, but the stories of Judas and Peter do not encourage, and the others disappoint. Could they really have been discussing who would be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven when they were all gathered for the Last Supper? But there are those who do not disappoint. Mark and Luke tell us about the widow who gave her two coins, all that she had. She did not contribute from the money she had left. She gave everything. Then there is the anointing of Jesus. The disciples railed against the woman. She had been wasteful and extravagant. Jesus says, Why are you bothering this woman? It is a fine and beautiful thing that she has done for me. These women give us encouragement. Acts of dedication are used by God in ways that we cannot understand. We do what we can and leave all things to him, knowing that he is God. Amen. Our Father in heaven, with thankful and grateful hearts, we dedicate ourselves to you. Help us to take up our cross and follow Jesus. And as we share in his sufferings, May we also know his power and his love. May your protection and peace be with all those who need your help this day. And may grace, mercy, and peace be with you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.